Hi hey everyone, it's Doug from Bjorn Territory, and in this video I'm going to show you how to paint a French colonel for my French forces in the Peninsula War. Hope you like this one. Catch you in a bit. So to start with my Perry's French colonel, um, I bought the set from Perry's, got three of them. I decided to pick this one to start with, and I base coated it in a grey, now coming in with Kisler Flash for his skin. Next colour, flat white for his trousers. Do two thin coats as always. On the top of his scabbard of his sword, white as well. Next colour is blue. I'm using Ultramarine's contrast blue. And I'll do two coats with quite a dark pigment. Sits in all the recesses quite nicely. And once the tunic's done, I'm now coming in for the blanket. Next colour, I'm focusing on the horse with sideboard brown. Mix it nice and quick. And effective. Whilst it's whilst sideboard burns out, I'm also going to do sideburns in here. Get some big sideburns, which is very cool. Next colour is Black Templar, contrast black. And I'm focusing on all the black bits, the hat, the boots, and all the paraphernalia for the horse. Saddle bags as well. The tail. For the blanket, I'm using storm vermin. First colour, coming in with red, with fist and red. Now coming in with Fetch Peter Gold, and that's all the fancy bits, nice uniform. Last base colour is the Belcher, the sword. You need to straighten that sword later. Definitely don't if you overbend it, it's going to snap, so don't look it with it. And for the stirrups, also the Belcher. Just a couple of washes now. First one, I'm using Rikon Flesh for the flesh. 
and the retributed gold as well. Because my army's on campaign in the peninsula, I've been washing with Agrax Earthshade, like a brown wash, just to give it a little bit more of a rugged campaign feel. I'll go over the box as well. Now that the washes are dry, I'm just coming in to make a bit of the colour pop again on the mini. So with Kisselet Flesh, small bits on the parts of the face that stick out. So the nose, cheeks, edge of the chin. Just the top of the knuckles. For the red, just coming back in with Evil Sun Scarlet. I'll just try and get the edges of the red brighter. So I'm coming in with some Prussian blue, just to make some of the blue stand out a little bit brighter in places. Tidy up anything that's kind of gone a little bit awry. Keep the crevices dark. Pick out the higher edges. To highlight. And now with the white, coming in with some white back onto the trousers. Some of the creases stand out. And the last bit, coming back in with some lead belcher to the edge of the sword. Make the stirrups stand out a little bit more. Just get a little bit of edge too. For the base, I'm going to make it a little bit more interesting. I'm going to start building some bricks using off cuts of XPS foam. Build a little brick wall. Uh, it's going to be about 60 mil. I'm going to put a French fuselier as well. Make it into some sort of diorama. And then cover them in more podge and the black acrylic just to give it some strength. Oh, there you go. There's my little brick wall. Also, Based it in brown, ready for the next layers to go on for the basing material. Now that I've got the base underway, I'm going to come in with a Mechanica standard grey for the brick wall, just as the first colour. To take away the black, but give it a little bit of depth as well. Now that the grey is dry, it's coming in with Nuln Oil to put a bit of more depth back into the brick. Before before I do all the dry brushing on top. Right, just a couple of dry brushes, using a Death Claw Brown, which is like a light brown. And the second one, a light grey. So I've glued the kernel and the soldier in place. Now to come in with some PVA glue, ready for the basing material. And now I just add in the base ready material, Mediterranean stuff from Geek Game Phoenix. Pretty much there, just leaving it to dry. All right, so it's all dry now. French kernel on his base. Fuselier in the background. Hope you like this one. Quite enjoyed doing something a little bit different. Got my first command for my French forces in the Peninsula War. So onwards and upwards with keep going with this got this lot, building that force, and I'll keep you updated with how I progress. And I hope you like watching it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.